in this video you're going to learn about how you can use the event begin play and event t the first i want to i want to introduce uh the print string looping node so what is basically the uh, print string looping node and at which situation we are going to or we need to use that so basically the uh the print string is a function blueprint okay and uh, how you can uh basically find out that or just remember that this is a function blueprint that is you find something like a icon called f okay so you have to see something like this this type of icon that f so we can easily uh you know search or filter that this is a function blueprint okay now you first of all find something like this and for search you can search that print string okay or you can write something like that print and you find the print string make sure once you uh, get the print string uh, at which situation you want to use that so basically it's uh, most of cases it's used for the debug and development purpose for example we want to get uh, we want to get some or you want to see your log outputs or what's basically going on like your character is moving or not or you want to verify something so at that time you want a tax or something like for test purpose like yeah you're understanding that or you want to just get some information okay at that situation you can use this string node so it's basically it's basic because it's a string variable so you can put any type of character numbers and symbol the second option you find that print to screen so if you want to print that text in your screen so at that time you need to just click on this boolean uh, by default it's always active make sure and the print log is basically you find here the log output so you will be get the the same uh the name or the text what you will write at here you'll also get the same value okay at the uh, logout okay the uh, fourth option you find the text color so basically what type of color the text will be display you'll find right here at the color picker uh unreal engine give you or provide you the most uh, advanced color picker option that where you can control the rgb alpha and you also find the hex uh, code so you can also choose even you can find the pickup option so you can pick any of color so it's totally next level color picker so for example we want to see your text something like in a red so you can choose the brightness even so you can control anything so once you select your text color then the number five option you find the duration so basically the duration means that uh, how much time it will be wait uh, before it's uh, destroy or become height okay so just saying that you want a display it's the text has been displayed and now you want to wait uh, three minutes or you want to check that uh, text uh, at last uh, three to two uh, seconds or three seconds so at here you can put the value so make sure uh, in unreal engine by default they always count the second not minute so it's been that it's now counting 2.0 seconds okay so yeah it's basically counting down that and at the key point if you want you can provide any of uh screen uh smart key uh the smart key is basically used for uh for example you want just you give some action inputs okay uh, so basically we are not going to go in the action input for now so let's skip the key, key part and make sure that is in a development only so why this option showing it's basically uh, that if you package your game okay like just think you have turned your all the codes and stuff now you are going to package so what you do just go to platform and windows so make sure once you go uh basically uh, in the export section you find that binary configuration they give you fourth option the first option they give you they use project setting that is by default development then debug game development and shipping so the debug and development is pretty similar uh, so in the debug and development you'll be get the all development purpose like stuff like as you can see the print string only available for the development and debug okay but if you export your game for shipping mode you don't see any type of uh basically the print string or where the basically proven code using the uh, debug modes okay for example and now let's learn and because we already get all lots of knowledge about the print string now let's use that the first is even begin play so what is basically this code so also before that i want to tell you one more thing like you have a question that bro why are we should write this code okay like why should write all of our program in a open level class like i just create a map and then you go into this blueprint section and go to open level back class or i and should i write here or should i write in my blueprint actor class so basically it depends on your situation or what type of logical algorithm you are basically creating okay the first 
first just think that you want to get uh, something information from your actor like are your uh, how much your actor health or how much ever your ammo your actor have or character have so at that time you should create or you you should use this uh, function codes in your inside of your character group a grouping not in your open level by class but some of cases maybe you need this and direction data or maybe you need this calide data so at that time you should use that in your open level class not in your grouping actor class okay that is basically difference and basically it's total depends on your algorithm and depends on your situation okay so now in the event begin play it's basically very simple it's uh, basically the your code executor it's only execute one time like how we write in c plus plus that int uh main then first bracket okay then we write our, our all the codes like int equals one variable it is easy stuff okay so in unreal engine the executor is that basically the event begin play and make sure it's only execute one time the event begin play execute one time and the event tick uh, basically it's continuously like it's a void function you can say that uh, like it's always active and it will be work or it will give the execution every second okay so you find the execution pin and the most easiest part of unreal engine is that blue board part is you find the color okay like the execution pin always connect with the execution another execution pin it will never connect with the pink string and boolean or whatever other color or the other sector have okay so it's only always work with the execution node okay so you can easily connect so that is the basic stuff so also for connect you can choose your left mouse and simply connect okay like that also there's a one more stuff like just think that you create something like this okay and now you have to make it some smoother so you can double click on this uh, uh, point so you can get a line basically you can make your track kind of like that basically you can organize your code more cleanly okay and then uh, so now let's execute this part okay so first let me write that the most easiest code in the world that is hello world okay so you know that is the most easiest part in the world like every developer and every programmer show you that will write a hello world okay and then uh, let's give the duration to uh, at last four seconds okay we will be wait for four seconds then after the four seconds it will be destroy or disable so if i click on now play you can see it's paste the hello world and now it's only wait three seconds oh sorry four seconds once it's four seconds complete it will be automatically remove that text from our screen okay and make sure in unreal engine the pin string always spawn in the left side of top bottom okay Oh, sorry in the top section okay now uh, let's check the event tick one so if I now unpin if you want to now unpin or like this uh, we if you want to have an execution this pin so what you can do you can press the right mouse and click on break these links or even unreal engine there's a one more shortcut that is you can press ctrl and just click on simply or oh, sorry alt okay just uh, press on your keyboard that alt and you can simply just this line of code and it will be automatically basically uh, remove that pin okay so something like that for exit uh, connect like that okay now compile and save now if i click on play as you can see it's now give you every uh, seconds it will give you uh, execution and that's why the pin string is now an endless type string okay and it's pressing uh pressing like a endless okay now if you want to check the duration what you can do you can simply connect like this you can get the uh seconds and simply connect with the string now compile and save now if you click on play and you can see the value what is basically going on that or like the, basically you will get the float value now in unreal engine there's a lots of type a variable called integer float boolean string tags long okay so i'll be introduce that in later but for now that is enough for today that is how you can use the event tick and even begin play and also there's a one more short and also one more you know tips or bonus uh, knowledge that you can commit in your codes like what is commit basically uh just think that you write terms of code okay now you want to basically give or you want to specify this section like only this section you write for uh, the the system education or character movement so you can select this line of this sector and simply uh, click or hit on your keyboard that c and it will be give you a commit option now instead of that commit you can just give a note like sending data okay so or like sending data and even you can change the color also from the color picker section 
and then you can even change the tag size like how much you want it's total depends on you so unreal engine give you enough basic mobility also the ground move you find the ground and comic so it's total depends on you it just doesn't matter too much and the bubble uh when zoomed so if you enable so you something like that data sending so basically uh, it will be give you more a uh, highlights okay it's basically give you simple highlights when you uh, basically zoom out too much so you can basically filter out uh, this stuff okay okay so now that is enough for today so i hope you understand so thank you so much for watching guys love you all bye bye see you next tutorial video